Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Dope. So Black Ops 6 Zombies is coming out pretty soon. It's going to be like around like October, November or something like that. I think there's going to be early access or something sometime soon. But I've been playing a lot of zombies lately. It's usually because of all the hype that comes back around for like zombies every single year. So like I'll just start binging zombies crazy and that will be like the only thing I'm playing. But obviously Elden Ring just dropped their DLC and... I finally got it so I've been only playing that but before that it was mainly just zombies but anyways um, I tend to follow you know threads subreddits and you know YouTube videos and stuff like that about zombies but it's mainly like nothing too deep like that I really really will just like throw my whole life on on a certain take or anything like that so that gave me the idea like oh let me just make a quick video on like a, the perspective of pretty much a zombie casual player who's been playing since like uh, Black Ops 1 zombie days since the old Kino days pretty much with the homies but anyways to jump into the video I know there's like two like two maps coming to zombies and they're gonna be round base starting off so which is great news starting off with round base zombies I know I think I think keep in mind I don't know everything I believe maybe around Vanguard is when they got rid of that whole concept of just round base in general maybe uh, Cold War I'm not too sure which one came first because I just remember Vanguard is probably the only COD game that I didn't buy in rotation. I've bought every single COD game since Black Ops 1 on release except Vanguard. Vanguard I ended up buying maybe like two or something years later. So I'm not I'm not certain about that. But I just remember around that time people were complaining about round based zombies not being a thing and then they eventually added round based zombies but zombies was pretty much already dead at that point. Um, I know in the new zombies mode that they're gonna actually have a new group at least based off of Cold Wars group um, like Weaver and Maxis or I believe yeah Weaver and Maxis and people like that or you can go in there with your own character but if you have your own like but if you have your own character you won't get as much like dialogue and things like that as you would or like a main story or plot <clears throat> that you would if you go in with the main group like the Primus group or like Richtoff and Dempsey you know Takio you know the homies the OG homies the only reason like like I know so much about them is because like you played with them for so like they're you've seen their story for so long even like just being a casual person they're casual player and just Playing with the same people and hearing the same like voices and things like that, you end up, you know, forming some kind of bonds with the characters over time. Like it might not be too crazy, like how some people like this is their life, like they want to know every single thing about them. But like at the end of the day, it's like you you know something because you're forming some kind of bond with a group that you've been playing as since like BO1. Um, so I know in the new zombies apparently they're supposed to keep the salvage mode or not salvage mode but the salvage and like the armor system and the crafting system personally I don't like any of that coming from you know black ops 1 to you know 3 black ops 3 being my favorite of all the of all the black ops games or well, black ops zombie games um I think mainly because that's when I really, really got into like Easter eggs and things like that. So it just feels like that stuff just doesn't fit into zombies. But at the same time, like casual, I'm fine with just having an additional armor. It's cool. And it's also things like you can avoid. Like it's not like you have to, you have to get armor. You have to craft items. You have to do this and this and that. Like you honestly can just go without using any of it armor maybe not i'm not too sure but like making your own flashbangs and you know upgrading your weapons and things like that you you can kind of go without um speaking of like the weapons and things 
also like weapon like rarity and things like that i also just just personally just don't like i don't like that there's a class or like uh like an indication of like what is a good gun or what is a bad gun that also goes into like the mystery box because it will show you like it seems like they're pulling how things were in cold war cold war zombies was also great I'll get back to that, but Cold War Zombies is great, but it seems like that's what they're actually like pulling towards or pulling from. So it's just upgrading your weapons. I believe that's how the new MW3 Zombies is too. They kept that same system. I haven't really played it because it's basically Outbreak and I didn't like Outbreak at all. I didn't like the open world zombie. I mean, it's cool, I guess, but I'm more so like a realm based old. I guess old head in that in that space but they're essentially keeping that but it makes the mystery box kind of trash because there's only certain weapons that you're gonna want to pull that have like that legendary or whatever high ranking and then everything else in the box is trash or if you're just trying to get like a, a wonder weapon out the box I just remember like just black ops old days it, it almost every other gun you would just want out the box because it was good no matter what it was it wasn't because it had some rarity to it so it had extra attachments or anything like that that's my perspective of the you know the mystery box and how it's going to end up being in the new zombies game um so the mystery box kind of seems just a little bit pointless um on to the next topics of like easter eggs I didn't really get into like Easter eggs for zombies until Black Ops 3. That's when like my normal casual kind of went into like fiending over zombies. I ended up doing like every single Easter egg that there was in all of Black Ops 3. Even the old um, Chronicles where they had their like smaller easter eggs and things like that all of them like that's when like easter eggs was like in like my head that this is like fun this is just something i want to do even though people don't really like revelations is what i've come to find out revelations is actually my favorite map like other than that the rise and draka like that's obviously like everybody's number one that's my second favorite but revelations is like my go-to map that was like the first map this is how casual i am that's the first map I hit level 100 on. So that's like where my my stats pretty much lie for zombies and things like that. So speaking of like Easter eggs and things like that, for Black Ops 6, Modern Warfare, not Modern Warfare, Cold War was cool because like it would give you like details in step by step on how to complete Easter eggs. I remember complaining to one of my friends when the game first came out that how casual that is and how simple that is and how kind of like it kind of took away from the experience over time i kind of changed my mind towards that because it also opened the gates for like my friends playing zombies with me and then also them completing the easter eggs because they're more casual at zombies than i am like when I say like I'm a casual, I just enjoy just everything about zombies. Like I enjoy the round base, the Easter eggs and things like that. For them, it will be like they had no interest in zombies, but will play it. I wouldn't really consider that casual. Maybe that is. Maybe my, my definition is a little bit different. But so that's where like the Easter egg lies. So hopefully they have a mix of both. Like they'll have their like step by step this is what i'm supposed to do type of thing in zombies but at the same time they'll also have their mr ruffle waffle freaking guide video type of easter eggs that you can just sit there and watch and then like okay i i, I want to finally do this on my own type of easter eggs that's more intriguing at least to me that's more intriguing and then also like keeping it as in you can leave 
after like every like 10 or 15 rounds i think you can ext extract or something like that that's cool too because some people actually get you know tired of zombies and would rather just like all right cool like i want an actual ending compared to playing until i die pretty much also like the last i guess the last thing or last two things that i'm gonna just say is bring back default pistols as your starter weapon like br coming in zombies with a your own gun already like maxed out everything is cool and i mean i guess you can set it to where like you start out terrible i don't know it, it, it falls into like do you really want to gatekeep how other people play is pretty much that aspect because like at the end of the day you can change it to like you start out with a base pistol and you start out from the grind and then if someone else is like you know i, I want to start out with a max lmg gun round one i mean it kind of takes away from the experience but i guess if you're having fun playing that way you're having fun so it it's really dependent on the person my last point or i guess ramble at this point i don't even think i've been making points it's just rambling is the gobble gum system i personally like gobble gums and feel like it's how the person uses the gobble guns exactly how i was talking about just like your starter weapon it pretty much falls in the same thing when i use certain gobble gums in games it will literally like just be towards like the nonsense one like zombies start flying in the sky or use ammo from your restock it's like things like that it's like i'm not gonna work walk around with like perkaholic and shopping free every single round because at that point it's like all right well you're kind of having an advantage i mean it's different from you unlocking it back in like old bo3 days like before the mods and stuff like you have to just get the dr monty's like fuses or something like that and then eventually like you gamble and hopefully you'll get like a shopping free or something like that nowadays it's like you that's like you have unlimited versions of it so it's like are you going to keep using it or are you going to actually like have some kind of fun at least in most of like the modded games i play with like actual other people most people just tend to not use like things like that because it like makes the game not as fun like sometimes you just actually enjoy the challenge but that's pretty much it other for my topics um maybe just also big zombie maps i'm not a fan of like huge zombie maps but i think that's just me personally um call of the dead was great i feel like that's the max a map should get but at the same time i'm talking about a really old map like everything in black ops 4 i just didn't play because I, I hated the map designs but that's just me personally as a person that will play zombies and gets hyped for zombies when zombies is hyped up but then once you know it's out for a while i'll like fall off and then i'll just go back to multiplayer because multiplayer is mainly what i be at so but anyways that's it I, I already know i've been talking forever i gotta see what my freaking timeline is at but i appreciate it if you made it to the end of the video please at least like give a like um you know comment something get the algorithm up but i appreciate it thanks